The fun continued in episode two. We endured a little bit of rain, but the blue skies returned just in time to visit one of my favorite anchorages in Desolation Sound. Welcome back for episode three. Uh, Pendrel Sound behind uh, after three really wonderful days there. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, the mountains are out and uh, it's a really nice ride. We decided to look for a new anchorage to explore, one that none of us had ever visited. But on the way, we ran into a slight delay. Out in Deer Passage uh, off of Raza Island here, and uh, we've got humpbacks. Uh, just sitting here uh, drifting with the engine off, and uh, they're a few hundred yards away, but uh, this is pretty awesome. Watched the whales for as long as they cared to let us. And we finally made our way to pretty little Evans Bay, a quiet spot to spend the night. The next morning we moved to Gorge Harbor to spend the night at the dock, the first time in nearly two weeks. We arrived under sunny blue skies, but... Just arrived at uh, Gorge Harbor, and uh, I think it's gonna rain. Fortunately, the rain didn't last long, and the free boat wash was a bonus. Another bonus was being able to moor next to this British Columbia built classic. Sarah Point nearly two weeks ago into Desolation Sound, the view was greatly obscured by all the smoke from the fires. But uh, today, as we re enter Desolation Sound, uh, heading towards the warmer water again, it's a bit of a different view. Desolation Sound proper, we made our way to Tenedos Bay. And here's a fun fact, that rock I'm jumping off in the introduction to my videos, that's it right there.
great thing about Tenedos Bay is a short dinghy ride brings you to the trail to Unwin Lake. A great spot for a nice warm freshwater swim. Tenedos Bay also isn't too shabby of a place to celebrate a birthday. departure from Tenedos Bay uh, motoring towards Sarah Point uh, which is the official or unofficial uh, entrance into Desolation Sound but it's also the exit. So uh, this morning uh, we are beginning the trip towards home uh, heading towards uh, Hornby Island on the other side of the strait. The forecast looks pretty good for a nice crossing and the next couple days are going to be pretty settled as well. Uh, this morning going to be interesting to see what happens but uh, is the solar eclipse. There's a few clouds in the sky and I don't know exactly what to expect uh, so we'll I guess we'll just see. So this has been an interesting experience. Uh, I've had it right on the edge of uh, the Strait of Georgia and I believe that the peak of the eclipse has, has passed and uh, it was interesting. It uh, did get a bit darker uh, but you could definitely feel the uh, temperature drop. It cooled off quite a bit uh, and I think we're going the other way now but uh, definitely an interesting experience and an interesting place to experience it. Check out my website at www.mvjollymon.com.